Hi. Today's video, change. Christina Aguilera. It's Memorial Day weekend. And every year I get really reflective. Because my dad and my uncles, they were only first generation Americans. My uncles fought in World War II. My dad fought in Korea. My husband fought in the Vietnam War. His dad and uncles fought in World War II. Memorial Day was always about remembrance for my family. And when I was growing up, I'd go to parades and cemeteries to honor all those who fought for this country. I never thought about the day when I would be going to the cemetery to visit my dad and my uncles. But there's something about knowing how my family felt about this country. Even when their parents left their countries to come here because of what America was supposed to be all about. And for years and years and years, I try to honor that. Now, the thing is, is that everyone in my family were Democrats. But being involved with veterans and veterans groups, especially in Florida, everybody assumed, oh, she's got to be Republican because she spent so much time with veterans and she's with this group and she's with that group. And they felt free to say whatever they wanted to about Democrats in front of me and how much they hated them and how terrible they were and you know, all those other kind of rotten things. And they never once thought about how they were making somebody else feel. These were supposed to be groups dedicated to veterans. Yet the veterans in my family were people they would have hated. And it hurt. What hurt more was my job was to help people, help them with PTSD and help the groups with, you know, giving them publicity and, and you know, supporting their fundraisers and doing whatever I could for them. You know, I knew if I opened my mouth, they would have hated me. And it turns out I was right. Because when I was free from connections to all these other groups, and I did start talking about what I thought, they turned around and they attacked me personally. So yes, all those years it turns out that I was right. And politics was all that mattered to them. Nothing else. There's a lot of people that are going through that. But the thing is, I want you to understand that the ones who are like that, they're the minority of the people in the country. The Republican Party itself is the smallest political party. Democrats are bigger and independents are even bigger. So when you see something that happened today in the Senate, where all those Republicans voted against finding out what happened during the Capitol attack, it says a lot about them. But the thing is, it also says a lot about the rest of us because the rest of us are putting up a fight and fighting for the truth, fighting for what matters. 
And that's the majority of the people in the country is that they do care. And they do remember. And they do realize. All those who were willing to do whatever it took to serve and protect this country. So if you're having a hard time, and if you've gotten reflective for this, this holiday, where you're supposed to be remembering the service and sacrifice of generation after generation after generation, then honor that feeling. And if you've surrounded yourself by people who are more into politics and you've got to listen to them talk about how much they hate, it's time to talk about how much you loved those they hated. Set yourself free on that one. Especially especially if you have PTSD. Because there's more ways to take back your life this way. It starts with being true to your core beliefs and standing up for what you do believe in. You don't have to be as vile and contemptible as they are. But just speak the truth and speak your mind. And that in itself is empowering and freeing. Especially right now. The video is a really good one. And uh, remember, it's your life. Get in and drive it. See you next time.